fireside chat. Got a log of them throwing the fire here. By the way, these are really cool. Got these at uh, Walmart, $6.99 for a case of 12. These things burn great. And you can take them in, you can take them anywhere because they're um, they're uh, manufactured wood. Pretty awesome. And they last a long time. Oh, Walmart didn't pay me for saying that, so just like for you to, to know that, I just think they have a lot of great items at a great price. Really appreciate it. Fireside chat. Uh, about a year or so ago, I did a, well, it was about two years ago, I did a segment called Black Man in an RV. And really enjoyed that. It was great. Uh, and... My experiences have still, have not changed. It's been just incredible, the experience I've had, even on my last trip. Um, and this is just a totally different lifestyle, different attitude. Oh my gosh, everything's just really different, but wonderful. Uh, I've traveled all over. United States. I haven't gone out. Well, I've gone out west as far as Colorado and New Mexico. I've gone east as far as North Carolina and uh, Georgia. I've gone all the way north, all the way south. And in my travels, it's absolutely been wonderful. And I've traveled a lot by myself, uh, which I don't regret. And in my travels, I have found people to be just absolutely wonderful. And being a black man, I will tell you, there are not a lot of black people or people of color who get out in an RV, who travel the United States, uh, who camp. There, there are not a lot of people, and that's just a fact. I'm not making anything up. Um, and it's actually delightful when you go to an RV park and you see someone of color. Um, it's really, really nice. And it's a lot of fun to talk with them and learn about their stories and who they are and where they're from. Um, but in all my travels, I haven't had a bad experience. I haven't had any negativity. No one has ever used the N-word towards me. No one has ever said, you people, or why are you here, or um, why are you traveling alone? Nothing like that. Um, it's been an incredible experience, a very pleasant experience. Uh, the people, everyone that I meet, even the security guard here, um, I had some relatives to come visit, and you're only supposed to have four people on your site, but we were outdoors, the park is not even a third full, and I thought it'd be okay to be outdoors and have like five or six of us meet up together. And uh, which we did, we had a great time, we had a nice cookout, uh, we were COVID safe. And um, the security guard came down and he talked to us and he asked us if we could park our cars up in guest parking. And I said, no problem. He said, we're not supposed to have more than so many people on the site, but you know, we understand that your family's here visiting and uh, we don't have many people in the park, so we're good. Just if they could park in guest parking. I said, no problem. Um, and we took him some food later, and he was just totally impressed. He was, like, pleased. Um, and he was so polite about everything. It was great. It was great. Um, and I'll show you a picture. <laughs> You'll see a picture of my family. That's my family. <laughs> uh, or part of my family, my relatives, that I haven't seen in a while. But it was a great, great experience. And they were really impressed, too, as well to see my RV and how it operated and the places that I've been going and the things that I've been doing. Um, it's been awesome. It's been an awesome experience. Um, and I hope to continue the experience. Um, I'm currently headed to Minnesota. Um, I hopefully will be there sometime, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'll be back in Minnesota for a couple of months, and then I'll be on the road again, uh, traveling this great country of ours. Our, our, our United States, um, we have a great country, and it is beautiful. And the areas of this country, the little areas like here in Illinois State Beach or Stone Mountain, Georgia, 
um, places like that, wow, they're like diamonds in a rough. And the opportunity to take your RV and explore those places, it's just, uh, it's just wonderful. And it's, um, it's like a diamond in the rough. And the experience you get to take with you for the rest of your life. Um, and I hope to get more experiences. I hope to go more places. Um, and I hope that you continue to join me in these adventures and my experiences that I've had. Um, I've gone to the Talladega 500 and I've been on the beaches of Texas. So uh, my experiences are broad, but they've been wonderful. And I know our country is very divided right now. And it's sad um, how divided our country is, but it's wonderful to travel this great country and find so many wonderful people that we're not divided and we're united as one whether you're black white um, hispanic chinese japanese uh, Hmong, uh, native american greek um, irish <laughs> the list can go on and on and on but in my experiences in RVing, there's no division uh, there's no hatred um, one way or the other um, there's no discord it's just happiness and um, politeness and togetherness it's been really really good uh, so thank you for following my channel thank you for going along with my adventures um, I may actually think about changing my channel to <laughs> like man in an RV versus new roads but I really like new roads because I've been on so many new roads and the road that I take, the adventures that I, I um, encounter have all been just wonderful. So thank you for joining me here at New Roads. Thank you for enjoying my fire here and a nice beverage and um, taking in um, some wonderful sights, a wonderful park. And I hope you continue to follow me as I venture on to a new road. So thank you, God bless you and your families. Uh, get out RV, no matter what your race, uh, your culture or whatever it might be, get out RV, explore our country and find out all the beauty that lies within it. And in that, hopefully you will find your new road. Thanks so much. My name is Rich Jackson and um, I appreciate you being here. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Rich Jackson at New Roads um, Facebook. Uh, you can also email me at uh, newroads.usa at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to respond to any questions you might have, um, any comments, any suggestions even. Um, greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for my nephew for doing all the music for me. He does a great job. He's in California if you need anything done you'll see his information come by at the end of this video. But thank you so much. Appreciate you. God bless. And I hope you have a wonderful year in 2021. Hopefully uh, we can beat COVID and we can get back into um, our normal lives and have a wonderful, wonderful 2021. Take care. Thank you. God bless.